Hey guess waters, today we have a really cool video planned for you based on a super cool little lizard called a gecko. You know, those little lizards you see in the Geico commercials, but today we're going to learn all about what they really are. So ready? If you're ready to go, let's go. But before we start, make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to click that like button. Okay, let's start the video. Geckos are reptiles that are found on all continents except for Antarctica. It's a bit too cold there for most animals and definitely reptiles. Do you know what reptiles are? Well, reptiles are actually cold-blooded animals that lay eggs. And geckos are colorful lizards and they have learned to adapt to habitats from rainforests to deserts all the way to cold mountain slopes. And geckos are typically very small compared to many other lizards. Geckos are shorter than one foot long. That's shorter than the 12 inch ruler that you have at school. And did you know that the lifespan of a gecko can be as much as 30 years? And there are about 1200 different kinds of geckos all throughout the world. Most of them live in warm countries, but occasionally will live in cold mountain areas. During the winter, when the temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius, they go into partial hibernation. And this part of hibernation is called brumation. And hey, guess what? Did you know that some kinds of geckos actually get inside people's houses? And believe it or not, a lot of people are happy to have them. And this is because geckos eat a lot of insects that also get into people's houses that most people don't really want inside. And geckos are believed to be the only lizards that call. No, I don't mean on the phone. I mean call by make noises. And depending on what type of gecko, the noise might be a squeak, maybe a click or a croak, or hiss, or even sometimes a barking or roar. And some people think a gecko sounds a bit like a bird or even a frog. Some geckos actually only make sounds during their mating season. And some other types of geckos are noisy and will fight over food as well as their territory where they live. Over a long time, geckos have developed special features that help them survive as well as avoid potential predators that can harm them. One of these features is a gecko's tail. A gecko's tail has many purposes for these little lizards. First, they help balance their weight as they climb branches. Next, geckos also keep extra fat in their tails. This helps them store fat as energy to stay alive when they can't find food. And they can also act as camouflage to help them disappear into their environment. One of the biggest benefits of a gecko's tail when it comes to potential predators is that geckos are able to shed their tails if a predator grabs them. This means that they let their tail break off of their body. But don't worry, they can actually grow a new one back. And did you know that geckos do not have eyelids? Instead, they have a clear membrane or skin over their eyes. And geckos lick that membrane and that's what keeps their eyes clean. They lick it with their tongues. And even though a gecko has round pupils like humans do, geckos that are nocturnal can have strange looking pupils in pictures or photographs. But that's because a gecko's pupils will actually squeeze almost completely shut and will look like a vertical line. Most geckos are actually nocturnal. This means that they're most active at night. However, there are also day geckos, which are most active during the day. Female geckos will lay their eggs in leaves and bark. And a female gecko can be pregnant with her eggs for a few years before she actually lays them. For example, there's a species of gecko called a harlequin gecko. And harlequin geckos, pregnancies can last for three to four years. When the eggs hatch, these newly emerged babies are called hatchlings. Another amazing thing about geckos is their amazing ability to climb. And geckos don't have long claws, 
but they are able to run along tree branches and can even crawl up house walls and even across ceilings. But if they don't have claws, you might be asking, like a squirrel, well, how do they climb so well? Well, the secret is on the bottom of a gecko's toes. Geckos have special toe pads. A microscope can show that each toe pad is made up of thousands of hair-like structures. And these special hair-like structures contain an atom called setae. This setae bonds with the atoms of whatever surface the gecko happens to be on. Geckos also come in many different patterns as well as colors. And they are some of the most colorful lizards in the world. And some gecko species can change color and actually may get lighter in color at nighttime. And since they are a reptile, they also must shed or molt their skin as they grow too big for it, kind of like a snake. Geckos shed their skin at pretty regular intervals, but some gecko species will do it at different times. And believe it or not, when a gecko starts shedding their skin, the gecko will speed the process up by detaching the loose skin from its body and then will actually eat it. Mm, tasty. Geckos will also use camouflage to blend in with leaves, branches, as well as rocks. Camouflage is a way animals disguise to hide themselves by blending in with their surroundings. And this helps protect them from potential predators that want to hunt and eat the gecko. Earlier, we mentioned geckos like to eat insects, remember? But geckos are actually omnivores. This means that they eat both plants and animals. Geckos like to actually eat a lot of different things. Some of those things are fruit, insects, spiders, and even sometimes mice. Did you know that many people also have geckos as pets? They typically live in an aquarium. The most common pet gecko is the leopard gecko, which we're going to learn more about leopard geckos in just a few minutes. The largest gecko in the world is the toke gecko. The smallest is called the dwarf gecko. And did you know that taking a bath for geckos is super easy? And they don't even think about giving themselves a bath at all. You see, geckos have skin covered with hundreds of thousands of hair-like spines. And these hair-like spines actually trap air. And this causes water to just bounce right off the gecko. So if you think about it, if water just bounces off, wouldn't it be hard for a gecko to get clean? Well, when the water bounces off, it also removes dirt, dust, and other things on the gecko's skin with it. That's pretty cool, right? Remember a little while ago I mentioned a leopard gecko? Well, what exactly is a leopard gecko? Well, leopard geckos are geckos that have yellow bodies with light purple tails. They get their name from their black spots that look like a leopard's spots. And leopard geckos can grow to be around 7 to 10 inches long. And half of that length is just the tail. Leopard geckos also have many very interesting features that make them a bit different than a typical gecko. For instance, leopard geckos actually do have eyelids, and they can blink and close their eyes to sleep, just like you and I do when we take a nap or go to bed at night. They also have unusual ears. If you look through one of the leopard gecko's ears in just the right way, you can actually see out the other side. Wild leopard geckos are found in northern India, Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and other South Asian countries. But most leopard geckos that are used as pets are bred in captivity. They are not taken from the wild. And leopard geckos mostly eat worms, crickets, roaches, mealworms, spiders, and dubia roaches. Young leopard geckos have alternating bands of color that gradually break up into spots as the geckos get older. And their skin has a lot of knobby looking bumps. And this makes it look like it has a rough appearance, but their skin is actually very soft to the touch. And leopard geckos also do not have clinging toe pads like the other geckos. So they actually cannot climb vertical surfaces. And leopard geckos also have a long lifespan. 
So if you plan on getting one, you want to make sure that you're willing to commit to care for them for quite a few years. So what do you think? Geckos are pretty cool, right? <laughs> I thought so, and I had a lot of fun making this video for you. I hope you liked it. So if you did and you learned something new about geckos, well make sure you click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to us. We add new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next Hey Guess What.